Honestly, I should have turned around to make a fluid shot of the drone, but I forgot that bit. Uh, it's not a good shot. So this razor came in as part of a paid promotion on TikTok. It's the Panasonic Shape Up. Now I'll say this product is actually amazing, but the video isn't about this product. It's about what this stands for. That sounds so stupid, doesn't it? So I have all these things I want to do. I call them side quests, just ideas of things I want to try. And some of them are very cheap ideas, like this ring that has finally finished curing. So let's check that out now. Why does my screen look so dirty? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> and some require a physical product or some kind of budget to allow me to fulfill this experience. A uh, slight problem here. The glitter seems to have fallen to the bottom. This is just the excess silicone. So here we have the actual silicone ring. What's the best way to get that out? Poke it out. Come on. Has this finished curing? I hope so. It feels very greasy. Here it is. Looks bloody awful. But that's it. That's my new silicone ring. I think I expect it to be exactly the same as my other silicone ring. Aside from the glitter coming out on my hands, it's worked out pretty well. And I think we really can I think we really can get this smart ring in this mold and make this happen. Okay, Oliver, where were you going with the flipping shaver upstairs? It comes in this place where I think, hmm, how do I explain this? All right, here comes Mr. Potato Head. Now, Mr. Potato Head has a message for you because he's gonna create something of entertainment. He's saying he's gonna create a video about his, um, how do you hold that? about his dry hands. Well, thank you, Mr. Potato Head. So depending on the hook of the video, you can choose if you're interested on whatever he does with his dry hands. But what he didn't tell you is that he, up in his booty, he is packing a punch. Hold on. Pretend that this comes out of his back, okay? Oh. <laughs> He's a Trojan horse for this. This is the ad. This is the paid partnership. This is the product that funds this whole thing, that funds Mr. Potato Head sorting out his dry hands. But the thing is here, is that this has to be absolutely essential to solving this problem. I see so many videos where, let's say it's a video about someone with dry hands and they're doing an ad for Powerade Sour. Oh my gosh, that is so nasty. Oh, vile. What about the Powerade Sour, the blue raspberry? That was green apple. Also, mingy. So in this situation, to solve dry hands, that cannot happen without O'Keefe's healthy... Imagine this, I should have just done dry feet, shouldn't I? Idiot. Are you picking up what I'm trying to put down? The product integration has to be essential to the video so that you as the viewer and me as the viewer for other videos don't feel like you're being sold to, you feel like you're being entertained. And that's what I think social media is all about. For me, I wanna create content that people watch because they enjoy it. And when they see that I'm getting paid, it's not that I've just jumped shipped from one product to another for a check, it's that I'm using this product to get something done that I want to get done. Oh, my battery. So you know what, what would have been amazing? for getting this ring done is if there was a 3D printer company that wanted to sponsor it, if there was a silicon rubber company that wanted to sponsor it. You get the idea. So I came down to, to give an update on the ring and the fact that I got sidetracked with other things that I was doing like TikTok and some business items. And for the things that I did do, I was like, <clears throat> I won't even just mention it. But I should, like, that's me, that's me curating the content more than I want to for this. Like, I want it to be more raw of just the things I do in the day with a storyline, like something that I want to achieve that day. So tomorrow we start, oh, okay, Rugi's coming. Ring, really good, actually. It's a bit sticky, I'd like a different material, but really good. Obviously I had to come back down to finish the footage. What I meant to say was this is, I know now this is the right size for my finger. I'm going to have to increase the thickness of it to fit the actual smart ring in. And I'm going to have to find a way to clean up the print. It's not, it's not a very clean print. 
we'll find another solution.